I can handle your Aunt Dory. Excuse me. Would you like to tell me what's going on? I was just telling Kelly that I was hoping you'd come home soon. I was thinking about going out, maybe getting something to eat, and I was hoping that my beautiful bride would join me. Sorry. It's been a long day. I'm going to get in a hot bath and go to bed early. Oh. I sure hate to think about going all by myself. Kelly, how about you? Would you like to come with me? Say, hey, Kelly, you want to come with me to Rhodey's? No. I don't think so. Um, because I just, you know, this, this is not going to be good for tonight and ever. Oh, well, suit yourself. But that's where I'm going to go. <coughs> Goodbye, pussycat. Don't wait up. Don't worry. Good for you. I'm glad to see you inherited more than just good looks and a passion for clothes. So darling, that decolletage is a bit de trop. However, I'm glad you inherited whatever common sense was left in the gene pool. Thank you. I didn't want to go spend the night in the bar anyway. Mm -hmm. But I do think that David is just... Just what? Misunderstood, I guess. Oh, really? You guess wrong. He is so sensitive, and he is so strong. Not all men can combine successfully those qualities. Really? Yes, and I think that you're just... I think you take them too much for granted, and you just forget what you've got. Oh, Kelly, believe me, I know what I've got. Don't worry about that. Now, look, I thought that we had discussed all of this, that we had reached an agreement about David. We had. So what happened? What's he been telling you? Please, Kelly, will you stop playing Susie Homemaker and answer my question? I am just cleaning up after my messes. You're always saying that I shouldn't expect Carlotta to do everything. Now then, did we not have a discussion about David when I told you that he was not a particularly good influence? Yes. So, why am I looking at two champagne glasses? I didn't have anything to drink. Aunt Dorian, look, I think it is so unfair that David lets you do whatever you want, but you keep such a tight leash on him. Excuse me? Well, it is. Can't you see how sad he is, how lonely? I was just trying to keep him company to cheer him up a little. Is that what he's been telling you? How sad and lonely he is? I can understand how you want to keep him to yourself. Who wouldn't? He is so intelligent. Oh, yes. Einstein had nothing on David. He needs friends on Dorian. Every man does. Oh, and you want to be one of his? Yes, why not? Because I know the real David. What's going on underneath all of that intelligence? Now, I've asked you nicely. Now, I am telling you, young lady, I am ordering you. I want you to stay away from David. Now, am I making myself perfectly clear? Yes. Pretty clear. I don't think you're being heartless. Kelly, trust me. The only friend David wants or needs is himself. Understood? Understood. <laughs> 